Hey there, here's Jan from Jovo and today I'm going to show you how to do login with Amazon account linking for your Alexa skills. Account linking can be used to make a connection between your Alexa skill users and your user accounts somewhere else. So, uh, for example, if you want to get your users email addresses, their names or make a connection to users that are already in your database, um, your users need to link their accounts uh, in the Alexa companion app, for example. And one of the easiest ways to do that is log in with Amazon account linking. For that, you need to create an Amazon security profile, enable account linking in the, uh, in the developer portal from Amazon, and then implement it into your code. And we're doing all of these three steps. Let's get started. So first thing we, uh, we need to do is to create a security profile. First, go into the developer console from Amazon at developer.amazon.com and click on apps and services. There you can select login with Amazon, which you can see here in the center. And here um, we can create security profiles. So I already created some for testing, but I will create a new one. And then there you can give it some name like login with Amazon, for example, a profile description. This can basically be the same thing. And you also need to add a privacy URL. So for example, we could do stuff like showvo.tech slash privacy. And, um, and that's it, you don't, need, uh, you don't need an image for now and you can just save it. Okay, so we need two things here. So we have a client ID and the client secret and we need to add those to the Alexa skill later. And so let's go into the, the other tab. Um, where I already opened the skill that I created. So I already created a skill. Uh, let me show you the code. It's, um, it's just a Hello World project by Jovo. Uh, and only thing I did is I changed the invocation name to my account linking app instead of my test app. And, and that's it. There's, there's no modifications. So if I do Jovo run, for example, Alexa, open my account linking app. Hello world. What's your name? Stop. Okay. So um, right now it doesn't do anything, uh, but we will add account linking to it now. And um, so let's, let's go there. If you um, scroll down here, um, you can find account linking here at the bottom. And there we can add different things. So uh, I already added some things um, before. So here you can find um, use auth code grant. Um, this is the authorization URI and this is the access token URI. Um, all these infos are also in this blog post that I will share in the video description. And, uh, and we need to change a few more things. So this is an old client, client ID I used. So I will use um, this one now. So let's just copy that and add it. And then also the client secret. So, okay. And that's it for as a scope use profile. And this will return a user's name, their email address and the zip code. And then that's it. So you can now save it. Okay, and so if you now um, do Jovo get um, to get the Alexa skill, uh, you can see one thing. So we did some changes to the skill.json. And if I now do um, Jovo get Alexa, Alexa skill, and um, in my case, I'm using a different ask profile than my, than my default profile. Overwrite the files. Okay, so this updated my platforms folder. So if I now go to um, go to platforms, Alexa skill, you can find that an account linking.json file was added to it. And there's also one more thing that's extremely important for you to make it work is if you scroll down here, you find the redirect URLs here. So you have to copy all of them, like this one here, for example, and again, go to login with Amazon, go to your security profile and go to web settings. 
And in these web settings, you need to add them as allowed return URLs. Uh, so and save them, and then afterwards, uh, it should work and redirect to the to the right URL. Okay, so next thing is we have account linking enabled. Next step is to update our code to reflect that. And so um, again, in the in the tutorial under the code, uh, you can find everything you need there. Um, so for example, we can ask for an access token. And uh, if we already have an access token um, stored for that user, um, account linking has worked and the user has granted the permission and if not uh, we will show an account linking card and prompt the user to um, to link their accounts in the alexa app so let's take a look at our app.js we have the app configuration part here we have the logic down there um, so we have three intents in our handler right now a launch a hello world intent and the my name is intent and we will uh, just implement the account linking functionality into our launch handler for now. So instead of doing this dot to intent, which is a redirect to the hello world intent, we will uh, ask for the uh, access token here. So uh, for example, we could do something like if, if an access token is set, do something, and if not, um, prompt the user to do um, to to link their account. So for now, we could do stuff like success here, this dot tell, and um, and else uh, we prompt for it. So for example, this dot Alexa skill show account linking cart, and then explain the user uh, what they need to do so it's usually good to, to tell them to go into their uh, to their uh, alexa app please go into the alexa app and link your account okay so this should work for now this should show the account linking card so let's try that out let's go into the terminal do jovo run again Then see, see what it does. Alexa, open my account linking app. Please go into the Alexa app and link your account. Okay. So, um, I mean, this is not the best UX, but just to show you that, so I don't have an access token in my, in my account yet. So what people um, can do now, they open their Alexa app on the phone and then on the home screen, uh, they will see a prompt to link their accounts. And it looks like in the screenshot that I'm showing you here. And after they've linked the account and everything worked, they are associated with the right access token. And we can then use that to make requests to the, uh, to the OAuth server from Amazon. And so to do that uh, next, um, we're just gonna use the request NPM uh, module. And so uh, let's, you know, let's install that by using NPM install safe request. And we're then using, using it here to, to make a request, which is super easy, which is using the access token to call the, the Amazon API. And then afterwards, um, we're getting all the information. So um, let's go back to our code. And initialize the request object. And then we can just copy paste that for now. So we're just using that URL. We're just doing that here. Again, this is not super, super smooth to do everything here. But for or just for this demo, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so what we're doing now, and let's also just lock the data we're getting. So let's lock the data we're getting here. And so what we're doing now, we're adding the access token to um, to our request here and then if it worked um, we're 
getting the data um, that's returned. We will then use the name and the email that's provided by this account. And then we're um, just returning this. We can maybe like create, create the user or something like hello. And then that's, that's it. And so that's it. And let's just also add an else block here um, and lock the, the error if there is an error. And so that it doesn't throw another error. Let's just do a tell to make sure that one response is sent. And so this is how our code looks like. And um, after the account linking is done, uh, that should work. Okay, so let's try it out. Let's go to the terminal again and do Jovo run and open it in our Jovo debugger. So copy the webhook URL, go to Chrome, paste it in there. And okay. Alexa, open my account linking app. Hello, Jovo, accounts plus Amazon at jovo.tech. <laughs> okay, so as you can see here, this is our Jovo developer account. So there's no uh, first name and last name, it's just Jovo. And uh, also, our, and this is our email address. And so uh, I locked it here. You can see it here. This is all the information it's the user ID, the name. Uh, and the email address. We don't have a zip code provided here. And so, and that's it. So, so it worked. Uh, this is how we can get your users email addresses and names um, from the Amazon account. The easiest way to do account linking for now, although it's still a barrier, so we would suggest to only use account linking when it's really needed. Uh, but if you really need the email address from a user, this is the easiest way to do that. Okay, cool. I hope this was helpful. Uh, thanks a lot. Subscribe to us on YouTube for um, coming tutorials that are similar to this one. And uh, happy coding.